Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's been a crazy year and I'm gonna show you what it was like playing football in Malaysia during a pandemic. At the start of the year, I got offered a contract from Penang FC and a few other clubs, but I chose Penang because of two reasons. Firstly, the coach, he is from the Czech Republic, new to Malaysia, heaps of experience coaching in Africa. And then also, secondly, the team just got promoted from the second division, the Premier League, they were champions. So I knew that the team would be strong and it would be an exciting new start in the Super League. So the team had one of the smallest budgets in the league and its target was a top six finish and pretty much to just stay in the Super League. So in January, I moved to Penang and if you're from outside Malaysia, Penang is like the food capital of Malaysia. There's so much good food. And we moved into a beautiful apartment um, overlooking the sea and facing the Penang Bridge. And then unfortunately, we couldn't enjoy too much food because a lockdown happened. We had to stay at our homes. We couldn't travel very far and the government did not allow us to train in team sports. So I got very familiar with a running app called Strava. Our fitness coach was sending all these programs and we had to do them every day. And yeah, I got sick of running, but it was good for us, especially when we couldn't train on the field. So after that, we were put into a training bubble and, and how that works is like, we were all staying in one hotel, two players to a room, breakfast, lunch, and dinner were, were provided. And then in the afternoon or the morning, when we would go to training, we would get on the bus, they would take us to the stadium, we would train, go back to the hotel and repeat many times. And I don't know how long we stayed there, but it was, it was quite a while. It was pretty frustrating, the situation, but then again, I was also very uh, grateful that we were still getting a salary. A lot of people in Malaysia had lost their jobs and, and was finding it hard to survive. And then the league started and the first game we played against KL, we had no, absolutely no fans, so there was not much atmosphere. Uh, fans could only watch at home on, on uh, YouTube or on the TV. So the atmosphere wasn't there, but we felt that a lot of people were supporting us and we got our first win. And I also scored on my debut against KL. KL, very strong team, and as the season progressed, they got even better. And they beat JDT at the end of the year in the Malaysian Cup. Also, just to let you know, before every game, we had a COVID test, we would have to go to the hospital, or the doctor would come to our hotel and we would get a nasal uh, swab test to, to detect COVID. And yeah, I've lost count on how many COVID tests we had to uh, do, but I do know that my right nose, it's easier to do a nasal uh, test than the left one. Got a preference after so many tests. So at this stage, we had disrupted trainings. Um, some players got COVID, so they were out, and then players were getting injured because we didn't have a good solid training regime. But as the season continued, we kept on winning games. We were smashing big teams like Terraganu. We went away and, and destroyed them. And yeah, we were really solid as a team and we're winning so many games and breaking so many records. And by the end of the season, we finished third in the league. And that was the best result for a newly promoted team ever in uh, Malaysian Super League history. A week or two after the league ended, we started the Malaysia Cup and we didn't go well in that. And that was primarily due to having so many players out. We had two or three foreigners out. We had our main players out, I think altogether six or seven players. And when you have so many players out, it's very hard to perform. And a lot of reserve players who didn't have much time uh, were playing and unfortunately, we got knocked out in the group stages. At the end of the season, the, uh, the management decided to let go of 18 players. I was one of them. And it, it, was, it was quite strange because we had done so well. It was not normal, but I mean, that's football and sometimes management make these decisions and you've got to live, live with them. So that's okay. I know how football is. So 
it's all right. We just move on to the to the next job, to the next uh, to the next part of our career. But anyway, I wish the Penang FC fans all the best. Also, my uh, ex teammates. I hope you all do well and all the best for the future. As for me, 2022 is going to be very very good. I have found a new team and we'll be telling you about that in the future and uh, can't wait to share. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching and until next time, ciao.